And this morning you will see more lane closures around 465 as you head into work. They're specifically talking about the southbound lanes of I-465 on the northeast side. And that's where we find our Gina Glaros this morning joining us live, showing us exactly where we're going to be impacted not only this morning, but in the next weeks to come. Gina. Good morning, Anne-Marie and Julia. Yeah, this is going to impact 465 and I-69. The goal is to improve this area, but with that means road uh, changes and some lane closures. Now, I want you to take a look at the grand plan for this project. This map shows you where the construction is happening. We've seen NDOT reconstruct the south side. Now it is time to do the same on the northeast side. Crews working on 465 South. Drivers will only have access to two lanes from 71st to Pendleton Pike. Now, if you have evening plans this weekend, you may want to take another route. Tomorrow through Monday between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., drivers will only have access to one lane. Pendleton Pike will only be accessible through 56th Street. That's the Shadeland Avenue ramp. So they have to get off on the 56th Street exit, which is, I believe, exit 40. Um, so they're going to have to get off there to keep going through to Pendleton Pike. That's going to be closed off. There will be barrier wall. You will not be able to get to Pendleton Pike anymore uh, during this two-week closure. So that's the biggest thing that we want to emphasize. NDOT says nearly 200,000 drivers will be impacted using this portion of 465 each and every day. This project is expected to take a couple of weeks, finishing up on October 16th. Of course, you can always keep an eye with those uh, on those traffic conditions with our Kelly Green. NDOT also urges you to use traffic wise for uh, up to date traffic alerts. Coming up at 630, you're going to hear uh, from NDOT on why this project is so important uh, that it is completed now rather than later. Julia and Murray, back to you. Thank you, Gina. And these are some really good tools to have, too, in addition to the ones that she just mentioned. You want to have the WTHR app downloaded to your phone because we will send you the latest weather and traffic updates to you. That way you know how to plan out your day and if you need to change your route a bit.